um, I've been to Wyvale Garden Centre this morning and I've managed to pick up all of these um, vegetable plug plants for free. So um, I've done some filming, I'll um, show you that and then at the end I'll show you the veg plants that I've picked up. Hi, welcome to Erica's Welsh Garden. It's um, pretty grey and rainy today and my Wyvel Garden Centre vouchers came through the post today so I thought why not come up here, have a look and see what they've got on offer. Look, their seed potatoes are really cheap now and just having a look at them, they don't actually look that bad. Pretty much nicely chitted and ready to go in actually. So yeah, worth coming up here if you still want some potatoes and um, getting yourself a bargain. They've got their veg packs now for 90p and having a look at them and especially the onions they haven't actually started sprouting they're still quite firm really so yeah worth a punt for 90p oh, i really like this they've got a lovely display of pollinating plants so you can actually get some inspiration of things that you want to grow in your garden and set up yourself a, a bee cafe So they've got some absolutely beautiful lupins here. They're by West Country Lupin, I believe, and they're £18 each. And they are doing much better than mine because mine are just tiddly little babies at the moment. So just for comparison, these are my little lupins that I've got growing. Just found this artificial cactus here for £75. Pretty sure no one in their right mind would pay 75 quid for this, so uh, let me know if you would in the comments. Some of their veg plug plants. So how many of you buy in your um, plug plants? I've got a couple coming from um, Rocket Gardens actually, which is the first time ever that I've um, got any from online. Um, it's quite interesting to see though, these are so expensive and um, you know, I'm just wondering if anybody here, you know, does ever buy, buy them in. So six pounds for these pumpkins and squash. I can't believe how expensive they are. Um, however, I don't actually need any because I have about 20 that I haven't planted yet. So I need to go and find the reduced section and see what bargains I can find. They're fruit bushes. Is anyone actually growing a kiwi? Because I never have and I can't imagine they do actually that well in this country. So I found it, the reduced veg, 50p, can't go wrong. There's some celeriac there, some beetroot and some spinach. So I've just picked up some spinach and some Swiss chard actually. some broad beans there some beetroot I don't know whether to pick up some beetroot actually I might do because my seedlings died but I'm also running out of space and I don't have a lot of time now in the garden so yeah if you're about um, this weekend and you've got some um, some time and near a wide belt it's worth coming here and having a look for their veg because for 50p you really can't go wrong so i've gone a bit mad on the reduced section as you can see and i can't actually get any more um plants in the buggy or my trolley so i'm gonna leave now and i'll show you what i picked up when i get home okay so i've all paid and just loaded up the car ready to go home 
Um, I do this every time I come to Yvale. I end up buying a load of stuff and I've actually got nowhere to put it right now and I'm actually out tonight at upcycling class. So um, I'm going to have to, the things that are really desperately needing to be um, kind of repotted, I will repot today and then we have to wait till tomorrow to sort everything else out. So because I had my £5 Yvale Garden Centre voucher, all of these were 50p, so they were they came to £3, which meant I didn't have to pay for them at all, so I'm so excited. Um, I got some Swiss chard here, rainbow. I got some radish here, that's um, from their Little Diggers range, so for children, and I think there's, there's about five beetroot in there, and it was originally £3, so um, I didn't actually know who spends £3 on these. Um, the next one was a tray of spinach. I did grow some spinach this year, but none of it germinated because it was a really old seed. Um, this is an F1 variety called Boeing. Um, so yeah, I can't say the seeds from that, but there's quite a lot of plants in each of the cells there. Um, this one here is Monge 2. And then it's Oregon Sugar Pod. So uh, that'd be really interesting. It's really tall now, so ready to go in the ground. Um, I've never grown this before, which is celeriac, or celeriac, sorry. This one's called Brilliant, and each one's got about four plug plants in here, and um, they're all quite strong looking, so yeah, I'll give that a go. Um, the next one here is some peas, and these ones are called Early Onward, so um, give those ones a go. So yeah, really excited with the fact that I've managed to get all of these plug plants um, for free. And um, I did also pick up a mint plant and an aloe vera as well, which I've been looking for for ages. I've already got a mint plant, but I wanted to get a couple of varieties. So um, I've got that there. So yeah, I'm really excited. And if you're free at the weekend um, and looking for something to do, because apparently it's going to be raining, it's really worth having a look at Wyvel Garden Centre. And if you're not already, sign up to their um, kind of club card, because every few months they send you vouchers. And sometimes, um, if it's like a really rainy weekend, they also send you a £4 voucher on email. Um, you don't have to, it's like not a minimum spend one or anything. So yeah, it's always worth um, having a look with them. They also have loads of other, you know, reduced items. So yeah, I'm really excited with this. And now I need to make sure I actually get them in the ground because obviously they're all hardened off and they're all in a little bit of a bad way and need, um, yeah, need some TLC.